Welcome to my screencast on how I'm using Evernote for collection development. Evernote essentially is a web-based cloud computing tool that you can use to create notebooks and bookmark your favorite resources. Um, not only can you bookmark those resources, but you can make notes to yourself about those and you can share those notebooks publicly. What's really kind of cool about Evernote is that not only can you clip parts of web pages, uh, but you can also import documents, photos, scans, and uh, you could also download a mobile app. Uh, in my case, I have an iPhone, and you can use that application to capture photos or voice memos or text notes that you may take with your mobile phone and then synchronize it with your account and import that into your Evernote notebooks. So um, tonight I've been thinking a little bit about how could I use Evernote to create a collection development wish list um, for this upcoming spring, early summer, and how could I share that wish list with others. So what I've been doing is uh, using my iPhone as well as uh, my uh, computer to capture different resources that I would like to purchase for the 2010 school year for a early summer order. And um, as you can see, I've added quite a few resources here. I have some web pages that I've clipped, some photos of uh, books so far. I have a voice memo. Um, so I'm really looking forward to expanding this list. What I'd like to do is take just a moment to show you how easy it is to um, add something to your Evernote notebook. So I'm going to begin just by clipping um, a web page. And in this case, I'm in the Amazon uh, Teams Hot Releases section. And um, I want to add Fable Haven to my list. So what I'm going to do is to uh, grab my Clip to Evernote icon. And in this case, I'm using Google Chrome as my browser, but you can uh, get the extension for Firefox. Um, you can also install it in Internet Explorer. Um, I like Google Chrome. That's my browser of choice. And to clip this into my notebook, I'm just going to click the icon. And I'm already signed into my account. And now it's going to capture the title, which I could edit the title of this quick note if I wanted to. And then I'm going to choose the notebook that I want to put the note into, which in this case is the collection development. I can add any tags to organize my notes as I would like. I'm going to call this YA Lit. And then if I wanted to put any text notes in this box, I could do that as well. I'm not going to at this time, but I could always go back and edit that note um, later if I chose to add some additional information. Now I'm going to save that note. And it'll take just a moment to load. And now it's in my notebook. And if I go back to my notebook, and if I hit F5 to refresh my page, then I'm going to see that note immediately come into the notebook. And now I can preview that. And then if I wanted to go and work with that note, I could edit it. I could take it out. I could print it. I could email it to someone. Um, I can do all kinds of things to manipulate that note. Uh, one thing I have noticed about Evernote is that sometimes the way it captures the web pages isn't always clean. And probably if I clip the notes a little more cleanly, that might not be an issue. But um, it doesn't bother me. Um, but I did want to point that out. But now I can go through and preview that resource if I would like to. Um, you can view your notes either with visual icons or as, as thumbnails. Or you can view your notes as a list. So I like the ability to be able to do that um, and to work with my notes that way. Now if you would like to share your note then you can go to the sharing option and click on sharing setup and you can enable public sharing for that notebook and I've already made this one public. But I could always go through and edit that share if I decided I didn't want to share it anymore I could stop the sharing or if I wanted to go view the public list I could do that um, you can also invite just specific individuals to see your notebook. In this case, I want my list to be public because what I did a little bit earlier this evening was to actually go and capture the RSS feed for this list and pull it into my LibGuides page. So that's pretty cool that you can capture the RSS feed here. Um, you could also put it into your Google Reader. Um, users could put it onto their iGoogle page or a NetVibes page if they wanted to um, for any reason. 
Um, you could also capture the RSS feed and embed it in your blog, or um, as I did in this case, I've embedded it onto the home page of my LibGuides page, and I'll be putting it in some of our other web spaces tomorrow. Um, but this way, the, um, your students and teachers, um, I work at a high school library, um, can see the latest additions to your wish list. And so I think it's a great way to make that list public and, and transparent. So that's just a quick overview of um, how I'm using Evernote for collection development so far. And I hope to post some additional videos uh, in the next few days um, in which I'll demonstrate how I can use my iPhone to import um, items into my notebook and then synchronize it to my list. Thank you so much for watching this screencast and I hope that you'll give Evernote a try.